What is up guys, it's Ripper here back with another GTA 5 online video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to build literally the best drift car in the game. This thing is better than the Futo, it's better than the Sultan, it's better than the Banshee and I mean it. But when you guys see this build and see me drift this thing, you are literally going to need to try this out because it is blow this car blows every other car out of the water including the Futo, the Banshee like I just said, this thing beats it by far. But before we get into the video, I want to make sure you guys drop a like on the video and subscribe if you're new. And make sure you guys do comment and let me know what you guys did think about this video. And let also let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future. But without further ado, let's get into this setup or drift video. Now, before you guys even like start buying cars and stuff, because let me tell you, this setup does not work on every car. What you guys need to do is you need to head over to Legendary Motorsports. Uh, to find this car quick, just short it by price, and you're going to need to buy the Rapid GT. It's 132 grand. It's a very small, it's a very, like, cheap supercar, and it is, like, in the supercar. So, it's a cheap supercar. That's what you need to, uh, for this drift build. Now, when you guys get to LS Customs, what you guys, here's the build you guys are going to need. So, when you guys get here, uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to run in zero armor on this car, as it does put weight. For brakes, we're doing stock brakes because it helps with slide and it helps when you double clutch. Chassis, yes, we are doing a roll, cage, or roll, uh, roll cage like I just said. We are doing roll cage. It helps stability with the car. Engine, we're running full EMS engine. Uh, for exhaust, we're running titanium because that's you know the only up option we have and stuff like that. If there's other options, we probably would use those, but this does give your car more power than the stock exhaust. For hood, we're doing carbon hood. It does add a little less, or actually takes off weight from the car than um, the stock hood does. A lot of people like to shoot their hoods off. I uh, saw that in some other videos, which it doesn't really help. It does the same thing as you put on a carbon hood. Now for spoilers, you're going to be running no spoiler on this. No low level spoiler, no carbon wing spoiler, no none of that. We're running just a, fl just a flat hole back into the car, no spoilers. For suspension, we're running sports suspension. Uh, all these other suspensions just make the car like not have so like they make it have so the car has more grip. We want your car really low so that it slides and it kind of like glides across the ground if you know what I mean. So we're running sports suspension. Don't run competition because it doesn't work as well as sport. Transmission, we're doing race transmission so you guys can get as many gears and more power out of your transmission as possible. Turbo, make sure you go throw the, tu the turbo tuning on your car because that does help with more power and the throw your car into drifts. Now this is where you guys need to listen up because the wheels and the tires are the most important thing about drifting, not only in the game, but in real life. But what I found and what a couple other videos found is you're going to want SUV rims. And chrome, you're going to want chrome rims and they are free. Don't pick just any any of these because not all of them work as best as the freaking Dash VIP chrome rims. These things work the best out of any other rim on the web uh, in this in this shop because it, just try it. Try it for yourself. You will see a difference between the Dash VIPs and let's say I don't know these split sixes because the, the Dash VIPs are the best. And then we're also gonna for the tires we're running custom tires enhancements which that's your choice if you have the money and then this also makes a difference you can either run red tire smoke or you can run blue blue if you don't have money I'm running red because it matches the color of the car the color of the car also does not matter you can run it with purple it doesn't matter the color doesn't do anything windows I'm sure doesn't matter but I'm not gonna throw them on there because it kinda looks cool you can see your roll cage and stuff like that now you don't have to drift up on top of this parking garage, but this is the best place I found. It's got a, it's got a pretty cool track that I made up. It's where you know you just kind of go around these barriers and stuff. But you guys will see that this car is legit. It's it's better than the Futo, and I've said that a million times in this video. But you guys are gonna see that it is because this car, like you guys are gonna see, like okay, if I cannot crash, but you will see that this car, the way it hooks up, and if you double clutch it the right way, this car drifts better than the Futo. Or the Banshee or anything else like that. Now if I can get this car to go sideways for you guys. There it is. If I can get this car to go sideways for you guys. Which it, it takes a while to get used to. Because it it's got a little less back end than the Futo. And the Futo spins out a lot. But you guys will see. You, you can see you am getting the hang of it now. And it, it takes like. It's a lot of when you drift this car. It takes a lot of uh, e-brake and gas. Like 
it's double clutching pretty much. I mean, you don't have a clutch in this game, but it's it's what it's the nickname it's got because you know you're messing with the e brake and the gas and all that. But you guys, you can see that this car is just a drift freaking king. This car is the DK of drifting, and I'm serious. Just look, just look at it. It's like it's just got so much. It's got a lot of hookup when you come out of corners. It's got a lot of slide. It's very good. So hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. Make sure you do drop a like and let me know if you guys want to see any more videos like this in the future. And, and again, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you guys can never miss out on any future content that is posted on my channel. You guys can never miss out on any epic live streams or news either on GTA or Call of Duty content. But when I, my name is Mr. PK Ripper and I'm going to see you all in the next video. Peace, guys.